The other day, I bought one of these Fight Electric battery backup LED bulbs from Home Depot, and from what I read, the way these work in battery backup mode during a power outage is by that they sense a path between the hot and the neutral wires through other appliances or loads that you would have in your house. Now let's say, for example, that this power strip is the wiring in the rest of your house and you have other appliances. In my case, I have another light bulb and an alarm clock plugged in. Now, when the power's on, this works normally with the wall switch. You turn it on and off. And it functions like any other light bulb. Now I'm going to simulate a power outage by shutting the power strip off. You can see the cord and the light just, the clock and the light just went out. Now this is still off, but if you turn the switch on, it sends this continuity through, other, through the other appliances that are plugged in, and it comes on in battery backup mode. Now I'm going to unplug everything else. And you see it goes out. So let's uh, restore power. Now the thing is, uh, with this is, uh, since it requires the switch to turn be in the on position to sense all the other loads in the house, you have... The switch has to be on for it to come on in battery backup mode during a power outage. Wait for it. But I wanted to turn, but in my case, I want it to come on by itself automatically in case of a power outage, regardless of uh, the switch position. Now, one issue I found with these bulbs is if uh, you have a fixture with two sockets or two or two lights that are on the same switch or circuit even with the switches off it will sense the it'll sense the other bulb in the circuit and come on in battery backup mode regardless of which position you have the switch on Now, what I tried to do to fool it, I figured I could use one of these lighted switches. And what it does is, in the off position, it actually puts an it puts a neon bulb in series with the load. However, uh, even with a when I tried, I thought it would be the current going through the neon would be enough to fool it. But as you see. Uh, even with the other bulb, it's still lit. So I tried using a smaller, I tried using a smaller light bulb. In my case, it was a four watt night light. But with the night light and the neon, it flashes on and off. So finally, so finally, I happened to find this old AC adapter with an actual transformer in it, not the new switch mode power supplies. This was an old phone charger for a cell phone. And I found out if you use a AC adapter or transformer in parallel with the bulb, through the through a neon lit switch, let me get this plugged in. It'll stay on. It'll still stay off, even though the neon's trickling current through, and it functions as normal. But if you go back to if you go back to power outage mode with that, it should come on automatically. 
And there you go. It's uh, restore power. It's off. Switch on. Outage. Wait for it. Restore power.